Android 18 from Dragon Ball. Haven't drawn her yet, crazy. I'm on a landscape page. Use a pencil eraser, hit pause if I go too fast. Standard portrait over. Let's go. Set the point to my page is about here. The eyes will be along probably about the middle. Okay. So, simple enough eyes, right? So we'll go, it's, it's a curved line just coming out from here, right? So we'll go this way. That's a single sort of curved line just going back here. And we'll thicken it up a little bit, just make it a little bit darker. Darker, thicker line, right? And you've got like these eyelashes that kind of stick out from the corner here. So the bottom, down that way, and then into here. Right, and then eyelashes all sticking out from the side here as well. It's kind of dark here. Okay, and then she's got a big blue iris just under here, and then a black pupil under there. You can color that black like so. So her eyebrow is very skinny, it's quite close to her eye. So we'll go. Say here, and we'll just go take it up and over here like that. And then we want to add a little spot that you can just add a little bit of blonde color in, but it gets very skinny just at the back. It becomes like one line then. And it's just a bit blonde inside there. And then we have an eyelid line it's just coming out from there. Maybe something in there as well. So we go over and do the other eye. So curved line up here. This eye will go underneath her fringe a little bit. So just here, it might cut off a bit, but we'll just add the spiky eyelash lines anyway. Just here at the corner. All right, and then we'll go down and change our direction again into the front. And then we want to thicken up some of these lines, right? But then there's eyelashes that stick out back here as well. <clears throat> and then half circle for the iris in there and then our pupil looking underneath the eyelid so the eyebrow again just across from there very curved line and just add a spot that we can add a bit of blonde color to. Going that way. And then our eyelid line just curves back down the front a bit, like that. Now, so our nose curves out, kind of left of center, not like bang in the middle. And then it goes around. <clears throat> and then they draw in the shadow. Like so. And then her mouth, standard sort of Dragon Ball mouth. You can down turn it a little bit on the side if you want to make her a bit grumpier looking. <clears throat> and then bottom lip line there. 
and then her chin small feminine chin right so jaw the side curving around about mouth level here right you could do that side as well if you wanted but it goes underneath hair so there's no point it kind of cuts it off so up here just beside the eye her ear starts curves around like so she has her earring coming out from here curves in around like a little loop like that we got to make it like a double sort of line right into there and then ear lines inside the easiest way I always say is this letter J sort of shape to get you started and if you want you can add a bit more detail to that that kind of a thing so she's got hair coming down behind her ear and then over her eye on this side so like the parts in her hair is just above this eye so it's like here and then comes around that way and there's like a line up the middle it looks like so the part in her hair has a line that goes diagonal that way a bump underneath my page what is that sorry I think it's a piece of chocolate <laughs> sorry hopefully I edit that out if I don't I apologize okay so this comes down that way and then this comes around this way cross that eye <clears throat> down real long sort of close to her neck you get like all these spikes that go around the back of the head but she has like um hair lines like hair part lines like textures underneath her fringe that come kind of across her forehead so it just kind of shows just her hairline kind of a thing Right, and then across here as well. All right, so kind of like that. And then her hair comes all the way around to the middle, to this point here, and then down the other side, right? So you're just gonna add like these sort of hair spikes. Some of them can be spiky, some of them can be sort of flatter. Right, like that, and then it goes around, and then you add texture. So we go quite a big head. So it goes around like so, down to there, and then at the other side. And this one will go like about the same level, but it kind of disappear behind her collar of her denim jacket. So you'll have like some spikes and stuff here but there's a collar that comes across here so you just have to add like these curvy sort of texture lines that come around here go down her head you can do as much of that as you want and then go in the other way as well Like so. Okay, so her neck. Down that way. And we have her collar. Denim jacket, sort of bumpy, comes out this way. Comes out here. And comes across and down. Comes across and down. 
a bit of anatomy inside here. So we've got like a black t-shirt, just kind of bumps across there. I think it's black. And then neck muscles, collarbone. Collarbone always comes out from these neck muscles. They're connected in there. And then denim jacket collar, kind of long there. that and then her shoulder bumps out that way I think we can see some of the collar or is that hair so that should go be back that way and there's like sort of like you know full lines and stuff on all this and they have like an edge to the jacket you know, like a little edge line, just like that. And then there's a button here and an edge line on this. Like a button holes here, it looks like. So her shoulders have ripped off sleeves. So you just add these like spiky things. You do these anyway. Just zigzag sort of lines there. And then the stitching for the jacket. I think there's like a pocket here. Well, it looks like a pocket anyway. And a button there and then like four lines. Same thing over this side. So we got like a bit of stitching just there and then the ripped torn section. It's got an edge and then I put another pocket. With a button on it there. folding lines and then her shoulder so coming out here quite narrow shoulders because she's female and then she got these crisscross sort of lines coming across the shoulder Your line's just on the hair back here, actually. I missed that. And some in here. Android 18. Did I miss anything? No, that's it. Always helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.